me. Previously on Prison Break. Oh, well, I'm right here. I'm in a blue painter. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, today we're going to be reacting to somebody that you guys have put in the comments before. This is Mason Cox. Apparently, he's an American playing in the AFL. Why? 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 Yeah, I don't know how he would get into Aussie rules living in the United States. Let's check him out. Let's see how good he is. Uh, this is called Don't Believe and Never. Let's get straight into the video, man. Like, comment, subscribe for anybody who's already a part of the community. I appreciate you. You know I do. Let's get straight into this, man. Mason Cox, Don't Believe in Never. And to us, no American player had ever played a senior game of AFL footy. It's a one in whatever you want to call it because no one had ever done it. Mason Cox, redshirt senior from Ireland Village, Texas. He's only played six minutes all year. I went to Oklahoma State University. So I started out playing basketball when I was a freshman. I've never picked up a basketball in my life, really. We played at the rec center and there was the GA at the women's. Wait a minute, I'm so confused. Why does he have an Australian accent? <laughs> I thought he went to Oklahoma State. And she asked, would you be interested in helping out? Parents called the Dream Team, and they played against the women's team and practiced other teams and played against them. I was kind of like, yeah, cool, like, what do I get out of it? And she was like, oh, we'll give you a free pair of shoes and maybe some kit. And I was like, sweet. The men's team saw me training with the women's team. And one of the coaches said, who's that massive dude who's playing with the women's team? I'm like, why don't we have someone like that? I was in way over my head, barely could make a layup, and I was just a body bag. We got a call. They wanted me to go to LA to try out for this thing called AFL, of Aussie Rules Football. And we both looked at each other and I was like, what the hell is that? And it comes up and it's like AFL's biggest hits. I'll look at him and laughing and going, is this really a sport? <laughs> well, I'd already accepted a six-figure paying job at ExxonMobil. So I went to the trials. Everyone that was there was interested in myself. It became pretty serious pretty quickly. That week, I threw the cap in the air, you know, I got the degree on stage, made my parents proud. A week later, I flew to Australia and my life changed. What? <laughs> I'm sure that there's like, that there's, there's more backstory to this. I think he's just like, skimming through it and, j and just just fast forwarding a lot of the stuff but he just decided to go to australia in one week the whole concept of me coming to australia was <laughs> and he <laughs> somehow has an australian accent <laughs> give me a showcase of what afl was saw my first afl game sat next to a north melbourne player he explained to me you know that's six points that's a point as opposed to it's worth a point you know they point the opposite direction whenever they really mean that way and at the end of it, I remember he goes, okay, cool. So these are the teams that are interested in you. Here's the contracts. Um, let me know what you think. The international rookies are whopping 211 centimeters, the same height as Aaron Sanderlance. Looks quite exciting. I remember getting on the plane. And I thought, what have I just done? I've just given up five years of hard work and thousands of dollars of education to go play a sport I've never heard of in a place I've never been with no friends or no family in, in Melbourne. I stuck a footy in my hand and I thought it was uh, pretty much rugby ball. Like I had no idea the kangaroo skin and a Sharon. I did say that it looks like a rugby ball and you guys ate me up in the comments for it. It and does look like a rugby ball. I don't ball. know. Like it was all so foreign to me when I first started. He's kicking his kicking was quite average. It was a crash course, essentially, of just what AFL was. Craig McRae and Anthony Rocker spent two and a half months with me and come around training the first day. It was sink or swim, really. We do this one drill, and you get a handball off to the coach, and of course, Box is the one who you're handballing to. Go to handball to him. And I just remember looking at it, and I look back and going, okay, we're gonna be at work today. <laughs> kind of like locked eyes for a second. And I could just see in my mind, just what have we recruited? Players generally had a lot going on, but Mason's still trying to work out this new game, whether he fits, if he fits, am I embarrassing myself? But at the end of the year, I got to the point where I was thinking, I might actually feel comfortable in an AFL game. Fox was the first one to tell me. He came out and said, yeah, look, you And that week was a massive week. It's Anzac Day, obviously, and it's one of the biggest games of the year. The crowd's 90,000 plus. The stadium is massive, but just 
and leans over the top of you. So that's challenging enough. I walked out there and I was ready to puke. I was that nervous. I was freaking out, you know, I didn't know what to do. And I was thinking, don't screw up, just whatever you do, don't screw up, don't screw up. Oh, man, he's shitting himself. And I can't imagine what it's like to try and drop the ball that extra foot and a half to get it under your foot. My hands would have been like this, holding that ball. First goal. That didn't happen. Not that we needed to keep him grounded, but it was our job to keep him grounded. It's bloody hard. It's a big step from the VFL footy that he was playing to playing AFL footy. At the end of 17, I was playing VFL, you know, I'd gotten dropped a few times, we were playing small. He had to set himself a new goal of being one of the best forwards in the competition. Saturday, the forward, I was about to ask that. Well, so what position did he play? Jobs, what he should have taken. Well, he could look at the big fella. Mason Cox here, guys. This was just off the ball. I had the worst game of my career. I can probably say that pretty comfortably. I don't think I had a single mark the whole game and had maybe six touches or something and get suspended for the next week. Probably a low moment in my life, I'd say, of thinking, do I choose the right decision? Whatever Mason Cox can do as a permanent forward, I suspect Ben Reid can do better. Damn, I said, you know what? This is a ditch effort to show him what you're worth, to show him you can do this as a job. This is your career that you want to do for the rest of your life. What a beast this Tiger has become on and off the field. 22 consecutive wins at the MCG. It's hard to get around, to be honest. We played Richmond twice and been overrun twice through the year. This could be the biggest game that Mason Cox never gets a kick in. Prelim final MCG. Matt Stevey holds the ball. That's a huge stadium. It happened pretty early. It was in, it was clunk, clunk, clunk. His hands are on, mate. They, they, they just stuck. That's <laughs> lit. Can he guide it through? Yes, he can. Three of the very best. 211 centimetre Texan has just torn the MCG apart in the sport of Doug in a primary final. Could you have pictured that four years, five years earlier with the guy that handled over the top of my head? Um, definitely not. Let's go, Mason! USA! 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 Setting limitations on others, I think, if you're motivated enough and you care enough, or that determined to get to wherever you want to go, it's, it's possible. You can't write the script any better. Well, you could have. We could have won the grand final. Imagine that story. All right. That's going to do it for today, Mason Cox. So where does he rank? What does he rank right now? What would you guys say? Top 10? Top 5? I really want to know why he has an Australian accent. Where is he playing right now? Is he, is he, is he still killing it? Yeah, let me know down in the comments anything that you guys would like me to add to this video or any other players that you guys would like to see me react to. I'll make sure to check it out. This is Almighty Beast Mode. Thank you very much for tuning in today. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.